What if I told you that a student who barely scraped through medical school, who only studied before exams, and who doubted himself every step of the way, ended up scoring 272 on the USMLE Step 1? This is the true story of Dr. Hamza Aftab, a graduate of King Edward Medical University in Lahore, Pakistan. And it's not just about the score, it's about the mindset, the strategy, and the comeback. So sit tight. This one's worth every second. Dr. Hamza Aftab graduated in 2017. Like many of us, he was a decent student in high school and college, but during med school, he got swept up in extracurriculars. He studied only before exams and watched his scores drop. So if you're someone who feels like you wasted your med school years, here's proof that your step one story can still have a happy ending. Let's look at the stats. Hamza took step one on March 8, 2018. His scores across practice tests were consistently high. NBME 13, 263 16, 259 NBME, 18, 267 UWSA, 2, 271 actual USMLE. Step 1, 272. But don't let those numbers fool you. The grind was very real. He spent 11 months in total with 9 months of dedicated prep, starting slow at 8 to 12 hours a day and ending at a beastly 14 to 16 hours daily. His core resources, Kaplan, great for weak concepts, especially biochem, physio, and pharma. Pathoma, used heavily during fourth year, then again early in step prep. First aid, the holy grail. Annotated 4X with sticky notes. U World, the engine of his entire prep. Three passes, timed tutor, then random blocks. NBMEs and UWSAs, used as both assessment and learning tools. His unique touch, sticky notes in FA instead of over annotating. He used picture memory to reinforce concepts. This allowed fast, effective revisions later. Biochemistry, Kaplan is a must. Repeated it five times. Immunology, FA plus U world, gave it extra revisions. Microbiology, initially hated it. Fiance made him try, sketchy. Game changer, ethics. Used FA, Kaplan, U world, Conrad 100, Con 100, BRS. Still struggled, but did better on test day. Anatomy. Combined Kaplan Neuro with FA and U World. Physiology. Kaplan plus FA plus U World. Core subject for step one logic. Pharmacology. FA plus U World. Sketchy for tricky drugs. Pathology. Pathoma early, but relied on FA plus U World in final phases. Biostats and psych. Initially weak. Did BRS, HY Biostats, extra U World, and constant revision. Paid off. Hamza started in April 2017. The first few months were about Kaplan and laying a foundation. He made mistakes, like trying to memorize Kaplan, but course corrected quickly. By August, he started U World first pass and annotated FA system wise. It took him three months. In November, things slowed due to his convocation. December was about regaining momentum. January to February 2018 were his golden months. Daily 10-block U-World marathons, multiple NBME assessments, and targeted revisions. In March, two days before the exam, he took UBUSA 2 and scored 271. Then he stopped everything. No new info. Just light review and rest. March 8, 2018. Exam day. He entered calm, confident, and spiritually prepared. He marked eight to 10 questions per block, stayed hydrated, and used his breaks wisely. The exam felt familiar. That's what Endless U World, Annotated FA, and NBME work does. It rewires your brain to think like the test makers. Weeks later, the result dropped, 272. He cried, not because of the number, but because of what it meant, that effort beats talent when done consistently that every revision, every sticky note, every late night was worth it. Here are Hamza's final gems of advice. Use UWorld like a textbook the first time and an assessment tool the second. Don't overload with too many resources. Master a few. Annotate smart. Don't exhaust yourself. Target your weaknesses. Don't ignore low-yield topics. Never compare your progress to others blindly. 
Believe in yourself, even if you were an average med student. And lastly, trust in the process and in God. This was the journey of Dr. Hamza Aftab. Proof that a second chance, when taken seriously, can be more powerful than natural talent. If this story inspired you, share it with someone who needs to hear it. And if you want more powerful USMLE success stories, subscribe to Scholarly Scope. Until next time, keep pushing and never give up.